everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at Jayco's top of the line Class A gas motorhome. Beautiful, big wheels with full body paint. This is the 2022 Jayco Precept Prestige Model 36H. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Precept Prestige and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to be showing you this beautiful Precept Prestige 36H. But before I begin, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! How's it going today? It's going good. It's very warm here in Florida. Yes, it is hot. But hey guys, I just wanted to remind you, I'm really excited. Our um, rally is this month. Yes. In fact, in a few weeks. May 17th through the 20th. And we have five spots left. Yes. So if you're interested or want information, please email Will. W-I-L at mattsrvreviews.com. Yes, Andrea, we got a total of 50 spots. 45 are taken. Be there or be square. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Jayco Preset Prestige 36H. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 38 feet 8 inches. This isn't a Jayco Precept, Andrea. This is a Precept Prestige, which is the top of the line. You get the big tires, bigger chassis, full body paint. This is also going to be sister products to the Integra Coach Emblem 36H. The only real difference is the front design. So they're both going to have nice 120 inch windshields. I love how the glass curves around. They're both going to have full body paint, but Jayco kind of does this headlight design. It kind of looks like a bird's wing, okay? And Integra has that Integra headline look, um, but, they're, but other than that, they're both the same exact unit. I think they both look great. Jayco's the name. Uh, nice features, nice looking grill here with the honeycomb pattern and everything. Now, because this is 2022, it does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine at 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And then look at these tires and drain their dimensions. I love those. 255-80R22.5 with these shiny Alcoa rims. Because this is a preset prestige, you have the J-Ride Plus, which is computer balance drive shaft system, Kony shocks, a lot of upgraded things that Jayco does to the chassis to make this unit drive better than the um, Elante or the regular Precept. We do got chrome mirrors on both sides with cameras integrated in the mirrors. On the left side and right side, there's also a camera in reverse. Frameless windows throughout this motorhome. And look at the beautiful full body paint. And Andre, you see all these damn love bugs? I do, and look, there is a awning above the door. Yep. Which is nice. Yep, now because of the Jayco, it does have the two year warranty, three year structural, okay? And check this out, Andre, this is a full wall slide, but I love how they put the awning on the slide. Yes. So it's not take, so when it's fully extended, you're not losing awning space. Check this out. Storage. Nice aluminum slam. Nice carpeted storage. storage, everyone. Yes. Carpeted. It's nice. It's big. Insignia TV right there. Power source on the outside. Furion speakers and the boss um, radio player. The boss. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Coming on down the side here, Andrea. This is going to be your propane tanks. And we will have all the specifications about this motorhome. Bing! Right there so everybody can see who is watching on television. Oh. More storage. Great storage. And then right here, Andrea, is an instant hot tankless water heater, which we love those. Coming around the back, Andrea, if we look at this Jayco Precept, okay, notice how the sidewall and the sidewall and the rear wall meet here, and there's this piece of trim. On a preset prestige, the higher end unit, the it has a molded fiberglass rear cap. So the cap actually molds the end of the fiberglass here. So it actually laps over, puts the seal here. It's better like that. It looks better. It's built better, and it's a lot less likely to leak that way. Andre, you got bugs flying all over I you. No, I hate these love bugs. Okay. 
Dre, coming around the back, we do have a nice 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Again, molded fiberglass rear cap. There's a backup camera right there. And Andrea, we are awfully close to this bush, but I think we can make it. It does have a one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there. Why don't you climb look. up on that roof over there, Matt? Here we go now. Oh. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice fully walkable one piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna. And then right here, you can see that there is solar already on the roof. Hold on. Slow. Two, two, two more steps. Wow, that was a little stressful. Huh, great, and we haven't already. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Something in my shirt. Probably a love bug. Right. Right over here. We do got other side of storage. 50 amp power cord. No real. No real. Nice wet bag. Yes, ma'am. It's for you to dump. Love it. Very simple. Oh my God. Got a water purifier. It is a love bug. Oh, cry me a river, Matt. I have a love bug in my hair. Yeah, but it's not in your shirt. <laughs> and here we go. Look, very, very nice. Yes. Got a little uh, water hose there to rinse off. Yes, paper towel, towel holder. There's your fuel fill up. Yep, unleaded. Over here, Andrea. More storage. Okay. Storage. Other inverter storage. right there. Get There's that inverter. inverter. 2000 watts. And your own and 5500 gasoline generator. Yes, ma'am. And a battery bank on a Morai tray. Yeah, what's nice about those, those batteries are heavy. That slide out tray will slide on out and you'll be able to replace your batteries. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Preset Prestige looks great, but the inside looks even better. Matt. Let's go, take a look. There's so many people here at the dealership. There's Are you a lot of skip? people. Get the cargo carrying capacity, Matt. 3,010 pounds. Okay, 3,010 pounds, that's a lot. All right, guys, here we are. As you can see, the slides are in opposing yes. slides here. Little, little walkway, but it's doable. And then you get back here, opens up a little bit more. You can definitely open the fridge. There is the bathroom and the master bedroom, which you can still use the bed with the slides in. Yes. And Andrea, while we're getting the slide outs out, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, RV Life. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. RV Life Trip Wizards allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip like fuel, rest stops, brake areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Andrea, one of the biggest Class A gas motorhomes on the entire market, especially when the slide outs are open. Can't you see it? Yeah, it's pretty big. It's the opposing slides. Yes. Let's get started right up front. And the floor is flush. Yes, it's very nice, Andrea. Again, this does have the 7.3 liter V8. We got our cup holder right up front here, auto leveling, uh, power shade buttons. This does have the slow rise shades, okay? Uh, you can tell it's the newer on with the newer type of steering wheel and everything. Very nice, right here. We got a place for you to put your cell phones where they're not slipping and sliding all over the place. Ooh. Here, we're gonna have the screen so you can see your left side, right side, and reverse. Something that I'm a huge fan of is when you kick it in reverse, um, you can push this and then you're able to see um, what, what you're too close to and what you're too far away from. Andrea, how do you feel? Great, this is super comfortable. I'm glad I have this right here. I still think it's a little flimsy, but it, at least there is a little workstation. Well, Andrea, if you remember the Jayco, the Jaycos and the Integras before they went to the V8, 
that's a big upgrade from them. It is. It definitely is. So I have a cell phone holder here, yep. USB electrical outlet, a cup holder. We have the shades here. Um, there is uh, an electric shade here yes, that will cover the front. Yes. And then both these seats do swivel. Okay. Part of the living area. There is a pedestal table that goes in the middle here. Right there. And then we have some cabinets. Very okay. nice. On the other side as well, I'll show one of these. Okay. Well, that one's really not for show. I mean, that one's just like a little dummy. You need me to get this one? They call them. Yep. There you, there you go. go. We have a bunk over the cab, everyone. Hold 750 pounds on there. Seat belts in it. There you go. That seat belts for safety. There is a ladder that goes there. Yes. You push this down and it goes all the way down like this. Now, this is one of the most comfortable ones, yeah, I think. Because it has this. And this makes a big difference, Andrea. Good size. And then we have a little cabinet up here. They're always so hard to open at first, okay? And what I do like, and I always forget to mention is on the door here, how they have the blinds right there. Yeah, you know, not every RV has that. No. So I'm glad you pointed that out. Right here, we do have a grab handle. And then those are, that's your inverter switch, your master lights. And truthfully, I love how the master light switch is right there. So when you walk in, you know, and you want lights on. Over here, Andrea, let's check out these balances. Let's let's get a close examination. Approved. Bing! Why'd you say it like that? Um, I was still second guessing myself, but they are cute. So Okay, okay. It's, yeah, it's it's a long way from those uh southwestern balances. Right. Hey, you know, it is what it is. Right here we do got storage above. And I like the LED lights up there. Yes, ma'am. And then notice here, throughout we do have daytime shades and privacy shades. Again, this is the preset prestige, so it is gonna have those higher end features. So they got a, a light sconce there. Oh, man. And then theater seating. Andrea, it's not theater seating. It is comfortable theater seating. Oh my, G-A-W-D. What? What's up, MJ? Izzy and MJ and the Sarvine. Right here, we do got remote holders, cup holders. Hashtag, uh, oh my God, look at this. I they're know. just on they're, me. They're everywhere, these love bugs. I thought when we moved here to, to, to closer to Tampa, we wouldn't see them as much. Right, right. Hashtag Endless RV, and if you guys like to watch this, and MJ from Endless RV. Lots of windows in here. Right, and then Andrea, this is unique. Uh, it has the individual recliner seat. Okay. So you could option this instead if you didn't want that for the long sofa. Correct, correct. Um, and then all, all sofas are directly across from the TV, which we'll look at in a moment. And then here we got big pantry storage. Okay. Nice. Um, Moroccan style backsplash. Ooh, Moroccan. I like that. <laughs> With a 40 inch fireplace. Okay. And across is the TV, which is on a televator. Yes. But as you can see, the dinette is down already made into a bed. Yes. So if you've never seen that, that's what it looks like. And Andrea, look, still no piano hinges. Darn it. Okay, so Matt's gonna put this up. So as you can see, the table goes up. There you go. And now, bada bing, bada boom. Well, hang on, it's bada bing, but I don't know if it's bada boom. Oh, it's that stand. What do you mean? Isn't that, doesn't that pull out right there? No? Nope. Oh, it probably has to lock. Those are supposed to be easier too. Well, it's easier if you know how to do it. Yeah, we never have to put those down. <laughs> bada there bing! You go. Bada bing and bada boom! There it is. Very nice and simple. Okay, over here, we got a little wardrobe space above. No, honey, that's storage. Not yes. Wardrobe. You know what I'm saying, Andrea. Matt, is the heat getting to you? Sure is. And then push that button, Andrea. Oh, wait! Are those car seat tethers? I think they are, yes. Oh, that's pretty neat. I've never seen them like that before. Okay, very nice. And as you can see here, here's your yep. TV. Um, you can put it down and you have a nice window back there. Very nice. Nice windows. You would need the windows in here. I feel like it's a teeny bit dark. Yes. Just a teeny bit. So that's nice. Good size TV. Solid surface dinette table top yes. here. Okay. And then Andrea. I'm gonna do something different. Okay. Do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. 
Andrea, switch with me. Okay. I'm gonna break the rules, America. Uh oh. You know why? Because I feel like breaking the rules. And I really need everybody to interact and share this video and like this video because people have spoken, Andrea, and they want sale prices. Yes, they do. And I want to get sale prices. And I want prices. sale prices. We all want sale prices, but we need this video to kick butt and the next Jayco video to kick butt um, because once they kick butt, we can the, show them. We can show them, like, hey, this is what America wants. It's not Matt, it's not Andrea, right. it's, it's America. America wants it. MSRP on this motorhome here is $249,754, Andrea. MSRP. MSRP. Here, RV1 of Tampa has this unit $40,000 off to $209,995 sale price. And Andrea, what we can always do is we can always help our customers get a little bit of a better price. So here's what you do. Uh, go to MattsRVReviews.com, fill out that contact tab. Let us know that you're interested in the Precept 36H. We will reach out to our team here at RV1 of Tampa and we will help get you guys a phenomenal price. But even if it is, and literally, what I like to tell people, it might be $500 off this sale price. It might be a couple thousand. Who you knows? Never know. We don't know. It's At the end of the day, it's not our unit to sell. But here's what I do know. When you guys reach out to Match RV Reviews, we're going to make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the RV industry. Andrea, show us the kitchen. Okay, everyone. Here is the kitchen. Start up here with this cabinet. Yes. This shelf. Uh, I like that they gave you this big window right here. Very nice. And you got both shades, daytime and nighttime there, which is nice. Yes. You got these little cabinets here, which are little spice racks. Yeah, sugar spice and spice. Cabinet, solid surface countertop, of course. And then we have this big residential style sink. Very with the nice. Extension. Oh, yeah. Okay, a little bit of a antifreeze there. Okay. Oh, we got three. Well, that's for sponges. Sorry, guys. We got two more. Whoa! <laughs> Calm down, sea bass. I didn't. It's it's hard to open. All right, you're pulling <laughs> stuff open. Nice cabinet there for a trash can. Yes. That's really a big deal to me. And we've got a Furion convection microwave. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Two burner Furion induction cooktop. Yes, ma'am. Another one of these little cabinets. Okay, very nice. And we've got. Did I open this? No. Okay. Well, that's good storage. It sure is. Three more drawers here. Yep. One, two, and a big three. One there. And oh, mm. we got a GE residential refrigerator. I love this, Andrea. First, you have ice and water filter all right there. I love Ooh, that. Already cold. Too. Ice cold. Love that. That is very okay, nice. Over here would be your pantry. Yeah. Adjustable shelf. Sheesh. That's very I nice. I like that a lot. And it's a big pantry. Yes. All right, uh, going into the uh, bathroom here, they have the pocket door. Wowzer. Wow, I like that it's white. Look how pretty. Cute well, that, I mean, this lights. Farmhouse, Andrea. This is the farmhouse. Yes. That's so, not the farmhouse. I'll let you show this. But Andrea, look at this huge Wow, shower. it has a seat in there too. Yes, and plenty of love bugs. And not a big step up, so Just that's Just so good. everybody knows, we don't charge yes. extra for the love bugs. Wow, they're everywhere. Um, yeah, very, they're very everywhere. nice. Just everywhere. Oh. Okay, um, as I said, very, very cute vanity lights. I like the white in here. You've yes. got the medicine cabinet here. Nice space here. Yeah. Rectangle sink, and you got a cabinet there, and some shelves. All right, Andrea. Here we go now. Porcelain. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. And Andrea, that shower is incredible size. I know. I love showers that have seats in them. Okay. Okay, going into the master, as you can see, it's a pretty good walkway. Has a nice pocket door right there. Um, oh, the TV has storage. Yes. Oh, Got a nice drawer. Three drawers here. Yes, very nice. And then over, you have four more right there. Two above. Two above. Four nice below. Window. And then check this out, Andrea. Gasoline motorhome that is prepped for Yay! a stackable washer and dryer. Wow. And if you don't get it, you have more drawers. Exactly. Exactly. 
And that's what I love on trade, especially on gas motorhomes, because not everybody is going to be full timing. So it's nice just to have that option. Look at that closet. Wow. Look at this closet. Store all your clothes. That's Very nice. nice. Yes, ma'am. Over here, we got a nice king size bed. I like that they give you nightstands on each side. Yes, ma'am. Very, very nice bed. King size bed with that um, nail, with the nail head uh, headboard. Yes, and then and look at that big. Nice, nice storage above. How do you like that headboard? It's okay. It's not okay. bad. Okay. And then I, I really do like that they gave you the nightstands though. Yes. And let's see if there's storage underneath, Matt. Well, let's find out. It's a mystery. Hmm. Uh, oh, yep. Yep, there is. You okay. sure do. Hey, it all, it, every little inch counts. It sure does, Andrea. Especially for motorhomes like these. Especially for how big it is. You know what I'm saying? A full-time machine for a gas motorhome. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome... Well, no, no, no. We already said that part. Well, Andrea, that's it and that's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it, Andrea. What do we do first? I want to do three things we dislike about it. I have two. I right have off the one. Bat. Well, then you go first. Right away. Talk to me. It's too dark. It is. That was my third, if you couldn't I, think of a third. Uh, it's just, I don't know. The lights aren't bright. It's very dark it's very in here. very dark in here. Um, and I don't even want to say it looks bad. It's just, no, it's just we prefer dark. light and bright right. in like, boom. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, that's number one, Andrea. Number two, oh. it, oops, sorry about that. It is going to be the carpet on the storage outside. Don't like that, never have liked that, never will like that. That is number two. And then number three, Andrea. If you guys remember when we came walking in. It was very, very hard to get through. The front part, only right in here though. Very tight with the slide outs in. 100% worth it and okay with it because once, it, once you are parked, you do get all this space. But while you're driving down the road, that accessibility to get to the bathroom really kind of stinks. Well, Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Would you like to go first or me? You can go first. First and foremost, undisputable, undoubtedly, is over here. This huge one-piece fiberglass Encore shower. I absolutely love that. I love this bathroom. And look at how bright it is in here. Yeah. This is why all the love bugs are in here, because it's the brightest part of right. the RV. But um, I, I love that. If if they would have had the rest of the RV this bright, it, it would have been game over for us in a good way. That's number one. Andre, do you have a number two? Because I can go again. Sure. The kitchen. Okay, here's what I mean. Love this refrigerator with ice maker and water filter. Residential. Love the induction. Love the solid surface countertop and a Furion convection oven and the window right here. You know what I'm saying? This is our cooking side, it's our camping side, and these are high-end finishes that you see on a diesel pusher. That is number two. And then Andrea, I do have number three. Sure, you go ahead. Here we go now, come on down. Master bedroom with opposing slides, okay? So, as you guys know, Andrea and I just got a motorhome, and you know what that's gonna do for us, Andrea? That's gonna make us better RVers and better reviewers. The reason why is because I'm learning. Our bedroom is practically useless as a bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, there's a love bug on me. Yes. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Um, but like this right here, we cannot walk in our bedroom for two reasons. One, there's only one slide out, and two, we have an awesome upgraded mattress. But I can't change in my bedroom. Where in this, you can. You got space over here, space over here, and then the fact that you're getting a stackable washer dryer. It's freaking awesome, fantastic, and I love that. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. Again, guys, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike, because if this video and the next video kicks butt, then um, then that's gonna be our proof to say, hey, let us give you everybody the sale prices. Make sure you guys, what, what day is today, Sunday? Today's Sunday. So this video comes out Tuesday. So make sure you guys tune in Thursday at 7 p.m. to see the all-new Jayco prototype motorhome. It's a Melbourne Prestige. It's a true B+. 
you guys aren't going to want to miss that. And again, please comment on this video and that video because if we can make both of these videos perform well, that's going to help us get you guys to sale prices in future videos. Andrea, anything you want to say? Yes! Hey everybody! Thank you so much for watching! Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Jayco does read the comments and they watch the videos. Yes. So they want to see what you have to say. Also guys, if you're interested in our rally, that's this month. Yes. Actually, two weeks. Yes. Um, May 17th through 20th, please email will at mattsrvreviews.com. That's W-I-L at mattsrvreviews.com. Be there or be square. Yes. It's in Nashville, Tennessee. So much fun. We are super excited, guys. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.